Hello and welcome to part three of my classroom video series on working with the blender. Uh, if you haven't gotten to this point yet, the other two videos that lead up to this can be found on my YouTube channel. So what we have is we have an object, a monster head, that has uh, been parented to an armature. We're going to use that armature now to animate the head. We're going to add um, hair and we're going to make that hair dynamic. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, in object mode, this is important, you need to be in object mode. We're going to select the armature by right clicking on it, so it's the only um, active object. And then I'm going to move up to pose mode, okay? Uh, now we're going to animate this, and we're going to do it using uh, our timeline down here, which is at the bottom. We have it um, laid out down at the bottom, so visually you can see what's happening and then also these numbers underneath indicate where you are and what's happening if you wanted to extend the animation more than 250 frames you just change that number and the number to the right is what frame you are in right now the current frame and we are in frame one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start by rotating this model so I'm gonna hit R and I wanted to rotate in my case around the Y axis but you can make it rotate any way you want so I'm gonna hit Y so R and then Y, and I'm going to move it back a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to lock this model to this position in this frame. So I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe. Okay, And when I hit I, uh, it brings up a menu, the Insert Keyframe menu. I'm just going to insert a keyframe for rotation right now because I only changed rotation. Okay, And then I'm going to jump out down here where it says 1 to frame 60. It's up to you, you know, where you move in your timeline, how fast your model moves, and you know, where you are. I'm choosing 60 frames. Now you can see um, in our visual layout, the green line is on 60. That's where we are now. And yellow lines are where we have keyframes. Okay? So I'm going to create a new keyframe. I'm going to rotate by hitting R, and then once again Y. And I'm going to move it forward a little bit. We'll say right about there. And I'm going to insert a keyframe, I. I'm going to choose rotation. Do it again. I'm going to jump out to frame 120 in my case. I'm going to hit R. I'm going to hit Y. And I'm going to move it back a little bit. I'm going to insert another keyframe for rotation. Let's go ahead and do one more. 180. I'm going to hit R, Y. I'm going to move it forward just a bit like that. I'm going to hit I and I'm going to insert rotation. Okay. Um, here's a good point. Let me move out to frame 200 to demonstrate something. Let's say I go to frame 200. And I hit, you know, I rotate it, and I go all the way down like this, and I hit I and rotation, and oops, I've created a keyframe now that I don't want. You can delete keyframes by hitting Alt-I, and that'll bring up your delete keyframe option, and if you're in the frame that contains a keyframe, you can delete it. Okay, so now that keyframe doesn't exist. If I jump back to frame 180, you can see on the timeline, there is no keyframe at 200 because I hit Alt-I and I deleted it. Okay? Um, all right, so let's watch this animation to make sure it works the way we want it to. Uh, I'm going to go to frame one, and to watch the animation, we hit Alt A. Okay? And there it goes forward and backward, and hopefully forward again at this point, and we're good. Okay? Fairly simple animation. Um, you can make yours rotate however you'd like. The next step is to add hair to this model. Okay, so I'm going to move back to um, frame, I don't know, 30, where it's approximately standing up, I guess. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of wireframe mode now by hitting Z. All right. And I'm going to move back to object mode, and I'm going to right-click on the head itself so that it now has an outline around it. Okay. Up here, one of the things we did uh, early on was with this wrench selected, we added multi-resolution. Okay, um, you need to make sure your model looks the way you want at this point. Um, before you add hair, you want the actual face itself to uh, look the way you want because we're going to apply this multi-resolution now. So I'm going to click Apply. This is an important step. Okay, um, and then I'm going to move into, um, well, let's go ahead and add the particles. Over here at the top, you've got these stars here, and when you mouse over them, it'll tell you that's your particle tool. Um, we're going to click the plus sign. I'm going to add a particle system, and where it says type, I'm going to say type hair, okay? And you've got hair length and amount and several things you can go through and, uh, and adjust. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set the hair length to 2, okay? 
and what we've got is a fairly fuzzy looking creature. All right. The next step is to tell the hair that we want it to stick to a certain part of our model. So I'm going to, where it says object mode, I'm going to choose weight paint. All right. And this only works if you've applied your multi-resolution. If uh, you have not applied multi-resolution, this will not work. Under weight paint, it's a lot like the sculpt tools. You've got your radius, your strength, you've got all the different brushes, okay, that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to weight paint an area. Green, okay, is the least. And you can see the, okay, look, under tool, you've got mix, which uh, is kind of like the layer tool in sculpt. I'm going to choose um, add, all right, and that'll give me a much heavier stroke. Red is the highest amount of density. Okay. Um, if you want to subtract, of course, under tool type, you could choose subtract and you can delete. We may have to do that. Let me go ahead and choose add here just to show you how that would work. I'll put a little space over on the right we don't want. Um, okay. And then over here in particle mode, um, where it says vertex groups down in the bottom, all right, by using weight paint, we created a vertex group. Okay. And under density, okay. I'm going to click here and it's going to show me the word group, which is the group I just created using the weight paint, weight paint brush. Okay. And it's going to take the hair and it's going to make it stick to the area that we've painted. Now, let's say we don't want hair here or we want to trim it up a little bit. You can use subtract and we can go in and we can just delete that weight paint there. And you can sort of uh, touch it up and make it look the way you want in terms of the area that's been selected. Okay. All right. So now we've got um, our head. I'm going to go back into object mode. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and under hair dynamics, I'm just going to check that. Okay. And basically that makes the hair dynamic. All right. So if I go back to frame, if I go back to frame zero, and I'm not sure how fast this will run right now, I'm going to hit Alt A. You can see, all right, that as the model moves, the hair now reacts with it. Okay, so let's give the hair color and let's give the model color. That'll be the last step here. Um, we're going to go up to the materials tab up at the top, which is the circle, okay, and uh, we're going to add a couple of different uh, materials to this. Our first material is um, the one that is by default is applied to everything. So I'll go ahead and I'll make that, let's just say, um, red. Okay. And then I'm going to add a new material. Okay. And I'm going to click new by clicking plus here. It actually adds a new material slot. Okay. And then I'm going to put a new material in the slot by clicking new. And uh, let's go ahead and under diffuse color, let's go ahead and make it like blue. Okay. And uh, we're going to check over here on the right where it says halo. We're going to make this our hair. Um, and I'll click like lines just to give it some extra sparkle. And you can choose the lines color. All right. And we'll make it look about like that. So by clicking halo um, and checking lines and changing the color, your preview should look something like that. Let's come back over to particle mode. And we're telling it to render our emitter right now, which is good. Um, we're going to want to tell it um, to use a different material for the hair, okay? And in this case, under render for material one, we're just going to tell it to render material two, all right? So let's come up here to where it says render and then render image just to preview it once. You can see that I've got my monster head one color, the hair is another, all right? So I'll uh, conclude this video here. In the next um, video, we'll go ahead and we'll adjust the hair a little bit more and uh, we'll add some camera movement, okay? So thank you for watching.